Alright, hello guys, so today it's time to start our tutorial about uh, how to beat a robot. I have no idea how that video should look, I didn't plan anything, we're just, gonna, just going to build it, I'm gonna show you step by step what I did, how to do it, how to design, how to connect, how to build, and today we're going to start. Uh, this is actually a little bit pre-built his uh, torso and we skip this today. Today, in this episode, we focus on his hand. And this hand is, like for me, so simple, fantastic. You just need two servos, and I'm gonna show you how it works. One servo, servo we just use for rotate the hand. Second servo is just moving the thumb, and thumb is moving another two fingers. I choose just three fingers because I think this is enough. And that fingers are kind elastic. Even if robots will grab something, they have springs, and uh, so that item which a robot will grab will not get damaged. Right, first thing what we're going to do, we're going to prepare that main uh, hand part, and we're going to install metal servo bracket from under. This one is made of steel, it's not aluminium. So we can screw this to the maximum. All right, and now is the time to install a servo for a thumb, for this one. Just screw this a little bit first, like that. All right, now is the time to install our two top fingers. And first we're going to install our gear base, I would say. And, because uh, this is, oh yeah, perfect. This thing goes really, really, Nice through. Um, I'm going to screw this like this. And now is the hardest part. Because now we have the two fingers. And now we have to install the springs. Uh, and we have to install uh, two springs for each finger. So we're going to install four springs now. It will, it will be a little bit difficult, a little bit tight, but this is necessary, this will give us a lot of flexibility with the hand. Yep, yeah, it works. Alright. So here we have here we have our fingers with the springs. And now it's a time to install our fingers with the gear base. Here, for this we have special pin, also 3D printed. Just slide it in, mm -hmm. and now it's the time to install our hand to whole arm to whole body of our robot. So let's put it inside. Let's one more screw, and here is our torso. So left hand is installed, now we're going to put like this on the zero position, this one as well, like this, see, but before we do that, now we remove our pin again, we remove two fingers, because now we have to screw that that part to the servo for the servo bracket. So let's do it one more time. And we keep this on the zero position like before. Lay this down. Let's take a small screw, M3, take it up, and uh, voila. And uh, click it. Push it further. Voila! Now our, our robot have two hands, two beautiful hands, and uh, and now it's a time for his head. And this head, it's. Uh, for me this is a masterpiece, it's so simple, so cool and so function. 
it have also just two servos to make it easy as simple as it is possible and just it works so in that robot you'll be able be to just turn head around left and right and by this take the head up and down it's exactly the same system like in the winning robot which one you can see on another videos you have to just click it in on the normal or neutral servo position click not click yet click let's hold it yeah we take a screw and before we do something more with electronics cables and servos we have to go through his chest gently carefully and find the pin and uh, screw it here so now we have hold upper body two hands two arms chest head everything so now it's the time to connect all the cables all the servos of his upper body and before we do that we're going to install also his uh, this big joint two axes for his torso so he'll be able to look left look right or turn roof turn te te blah. and he'll be able to turn right turn left down and up his whole body perfect we tie this one as well yeah like this way Palm. let's remove our holder so now so now we have whole body with this mega joint I say and now it's the time to put this guy on the base so right our robot is installed to the base and in this place on this place we're going to work with him we're going to connect all the cables all of the motors sensors we're going to make a coding we're going to do everything and uh, when he will be um, mobile enough he'll be we say ready to go then we're going to build a legs or something for him so he'll move around like all of my robots